सो हे ओवर सब का दिस वी प्रियांशु एंड इन दिस टूडेज वीडियो वी आर वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट दट हाउ यू कैन यूज एक्सपो लाइक फायर बेस क्लाइंट एस टी के विद एक्सपो रिएक्ट नेटिव सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एक्सपो इन इट एक्सपो फायर बेस इन इन दिस प्लेस यू कैन एड एनी नेम विच एवर यू लाइक फॉर दट Uh, context of this tutorial, I am naming it Expo Firebase. Choose the blank template and let it finish the downloading. Okay, so it's finally done. So I will open this project. CD Expo and now open this project in VS Code. You have your choice here. You can use any of the code editor. Okay, so this is my. Expo app. Now open Firebase, and if by any chance you don't have a Firebase account, create one. It's totally free for a limited number of projects. And after coming to the Firebase, click on Add Project. Name this project. I will name it Expo Firebase. Same name as uh, uh, our. Expo project and it doesn't really matter what you name it here. It won't affect the, it won't your really affect your backend or your any app like that. You can name it anything. I'll continue with Expo Firebase. Click on continue. It is not necessary. I will say so. So for now, we will just disable it. So, cause we we are not creating that big apps that we need this Google Analytics for now. So create project. Okay, so it's done, and now, so after it is completely uh, finished creating the project, you have to click on this web icon. Okay, click on this web icon, and name your web app. It is not necessary that what you name it here. It is just for the identification, like for identifying which. In I mean, you can say it's just a name of the app you are uh, registering here. Okay. you can name it anything like anything you can name it and so for now i will write here uh, expo firebase web okay it is uh, and then click on register app now you have to install this firebase sdk which is npm install firebase go to your expo app Open CMD and type out npm install Firebase and let it install. Okay, so finally time almost for uh, five to seven minutes. It's finally done. So I will just close this and now come back to Firebase and now copy this code. Now in here create a new file named Firebase. config dot js and paste that code here. Now do the same thing as I am doing here. Paste this code right here and in here paste this. Okay. Now uh, it is actually like uh, in advance. i'm telling you this that when we need uh, any persistence of user login then we use this auth persistence this get react native persistence and th this is uh, one of the important things this is normal initializer which we get by default and this firebase auth initialize auth is used for authentication and like that type of things like sign in and log in log out creating account like that this is used for that if you by chance you need that and get fire store is for the database like in for the collection real time db like that when you, you this is the uh, like most important thing like this is what we will use to add document get document like uh, all everything and this storage is for like using the firebase storage so that we can uh, add images and uh 
add ev like everything any media that we are going to add to our database we can do that to Fire firebase storage in with using this firebase storage get storage command okay this so for now we don't need this get react native persistence we will remove that no auth is needed for now no uh, d this firebase app is needed for these the, these two things and firebase db is also important and store is also important so we will keep this and what we will do is import these uh the this firebase db and storage in other files where we need them that's why we exported them these for from this file okay and so we don't need these imports too no async storage no constants and uh, this reference okay so and uh, one more thing i want to tell you that these things like api key and auto auth domain are some things that are, these are some things that are really confidential and you should keep them uh, private and secret so for this there is a method to keep them secret but uh, it will get a bit too long for this video so i will discuss that in the next video and now we have discussed how we can uh, use firebase with expo what you have to do next is uh, go in this explore explorer in this file uh, in this explorer and create a new file name metro dot config dot js okay now you have to paste this code at here so now after this you are all set and now if you wants to know that we I will you can find up documentation for authentication and uh, reading and writing on uh, DBs so for that you can go on this website this is firebase official website google official website uh, firebase.google.com talks auth web start like uh, i will provide this link in the description so you can get this from there see this is telling that if you want to uh, do a authentication then you can you have to do auth get auth app this is the same thing that i told you like initialize auth like that and this is that auth instance see this they are doing like auth email password like i said or i told you that we need the auth instance for anything this is the same thing so guys this is it for this video next in next video we will cover how you can hide these api key and auth domain okay as these are uh, some confidential data so for this video this is it please consider subscribing as i am trying hard for you and we will see you in the next one till then happy hacking and bye bye